A day years in the making as Musker Park Zoo dedicates a new penguin attraction. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Shelley Kerr. Hello, I'm Brad Bird. These penguins of Patagonia were first proposed a few years back. Now they're here and they're almost ready for visitors. Eyewitness News' Katie Forque joins us now live from the zoo with the story. Katie? Hey, Shelly and Brad. Yeah, that's right. The exhibit opens to the public tomorrow, but we were able to catch up and see a peek of the penguins today. Officials tell us they're very excited to see this open up to the public. It's a huge win for Evansville city leaders and the zoo. Today, the celebration is the Penguins of Patagonia exhibit at the zoo, a project they say has been years in the making. Um, my staff has really been from the beginning on um, really passionate about making sure this space is not only great for animals, where they have a great space for care, quality and their welfare, but also a really immersive space for visitors. Visitors currently will be greeted by 14 Humboldt penguins. As they work their way through the exhibit, they'll learn more about the region these penguins originate from and so much more. Officials say that this exhibit has been something they've waited on, but it's also something the public can enjoy as the world begins to open up around them. The only thing I can think of is COVID's going to make this party a little sweeter uh, because now people can come out to the zoo our numbers are down. Officials say this is just one of many celebrations recently for the city of Evansville. Many treasures can be found within the city. P47s come back to Evansville. We've opened up an aquatic center. Now we're opening up this. So if anybody thinks that Evansville isn't a, a place to raise a family, I'd vote against them. And officials say they're grateful to everybody who's helped get this exhibit open. Once again, it opens up tomorrow to the public, so come on by and see some penguins. Reporting live in Evansville, Katie Forcade, Eyewitness News.